federal government has announced five over 600, 600 million dollars 72 million dollars 72 million dollars one for tech startups now that is the news i don't think there's any spe- anything special about the news but the thing it, special about the news is that only 45 million of that is coming from nigeria federal government. and that 45 million is loan from from oh, back wow. of industry yes from yes <laughs> So the other is coming from African Development Bank, Hodgins from say the development that at least that is a French founded um, mm. bank. Then there's the Islamic Development F- Bank. Mm. Yeah, uh, yes. So all these people are contributing to make up the. In fact, private sectors and institutional investors are also part of it. And That's they're contributing a lot more than the government. Yes, they are contributing two hundred seventy-one million private sector dollars. Yes. So you know, I was talking with someone which day was that, and they were like, "If you want to partner with the government on something these days, mm. you have to bring your own money." Yes. The government will now support you. That is when they will now create enabling environment um, for, <laughs> for you. Carry that along. So you now carry them along, but. What what will now happen is you want to get a government contract to go and look for money, mm. then tell them, oh, I have the money, oh, I want to do this, oh, and yeah, this is that's beside the case though. But for this fund, this is for startups, young entrepreneurs. It will be interesting to see how this fund is this bust, and it's making me think. Okay, I've seen several initiatives like this before in the past. What became of those funds? Mm. Mm. This is not the first time the government is launching something like this. Yes, so I think this will, um, the startup view, the startup act rather, mm. will go a long way in making this, this uh, fun. fruitful. Okay. You get, mm. um, because you have, you said it's for young entrepreneurs between the ages of 15 and 35. And it's not just. They're even looking S- bored while, not, while <laughs> talking about It's not this. like SM, SMS, S. Small and medium scale S- MSMEs. <laughs> it's It's not about them. They are talking about tech startup. You know, and you know the startup act defined who a startup a tech it a startup is uh, who a tech startup. You know, so I guess that's a valid question. Now, is it that for you to access this fund, you, may, you might must have to get register. labeled a startup by mm. exactly. the federal yeah, government of Nigeria? Pay subscription fee, okay, something like that. I hope not. I hope not. Where did you hear that? Did you hear no. something that we didn't know about? <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, before you. Before you are certified the startup, it's not this idea. subscription or no. registration. Registration that you have to be renewing every year. What does that mean? Is it renewing every year? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, the last time we talked about, I think that was what it's about. Yeah, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, let me not even bother my head with this. Let me not bother my head with this. But I'm going to be giving you more updates about this. I will see if we can reach out to some key people in government to talk more about this and explain how these funds will be disposed, what makes you qualify to access this fund, and any other nitty-gritty things. Well, yeah, we probably can't ask them why it's only 45 million they are dropping <laughs> out of the money. But hey, it's, Nigeria it's, is broke. It's still big money. It's still big money. <laughs>